In this video, step two of the Proofing Language and PowerPoint video series, I will show you how to apply and set the proofing language and share a few tips with you. Now, if you are new to this feature, it checks the slide spelling and grammar in a different language. In order for this feature to work properly, the way it is intended to, you must download the proofing tools for the language you want to verify first. But don't go anywhere yet. You might as well continue watching. Plus, I want to tell you about step three a little later on. So let's concentrate on assigning the proofing language. I have PowerPoint open in the Windows desktop version and you see, you know, English, which is my default language and some German content on the slide. Now, how do I know which spell check or which dictionary is being used by default? If you press function key F7, notice down at the bottom, it's letting me know that this is in English. That's how I know. What we want to do is click on the content that is German. And I'm going to hold the shift key to click on the other two boxes. Click on the review tab, language, set proofing language, and we're going to choose German and press OK. Notice how all those red lines went away. Now, if I press function key F7 this time, Notice how it's letting me know that it's German and it is looking for all the um, misspelled words. So I've opened up PowerPoint online version just so you can see how to set it in that version as well. I want you to know, don't go looking for it in the review tab because it is not there. What you wanna do is click on the text that you want to proof, right click and select proofing language and choose which language you want to use. Now you're all set. Now make sure you watch, you know, the next video, step three of this video series. It behaves differently when you are in a placeholder versus a text and a shape box. See you in the next video.